Back on the Lobo Coaching Show with the head football coach for the University of New Mexico, Bob Davey. I'm your host, Robert Portnoy. Experience a resort that is above, beyond. Visit Inn of the Mountain Gods Resort and Casino. It's our privilege now to welcome in the head football coach for the University of New Mexico, Bob Davey. And it's time to get into our breakdown segment as we go through our highlight package for game two of the 2013 regular season. Coach Davey, uh, terrific football game. And it got started with a Clayton Mitchum touchdown here in the second quarter in our breakdown segment with the Lobos tied at seven apiece. Yeah, Clayton Mitchum's first rushing touchdown is a Lobo. Uh, deceptively fast. One thing with a young quarterback that hasn't played a lot, it's ball security. You know, he fumbled early in the game. He reached that football out there, got it in the end zone. They did review it. But I thought Clayton Mitchum overall played an excellent game in his first start as, as a Lobo. A lot of silent count, a lot of crowd noise, a lot of different things going on. He was pretty much flawless just in his execution in the game. And a lot of very good decisions in the read option. It's again tied. We're in the second quarter a little later. Boy, the second quarter was chock full. Uh, and here's the Lobos retaking the lead at 21-14. Yeah, a little schematic change for us. You see us out of the gun formation where Casey Carrier is parallel with the quarterback. We run a little G pull, kind of a sweep. I uh, got the ball out on the perimeter. You know, they were packing it inside pretty good. You know, we could run the football all night. I mean, you could see that early on. Uh, very consistent in the running game. I mean, Casey, 292 yards rushing. Heck of a night. A lot of scoring there in the second quarter, and it's tied as we go into the third, 21-21 at halftime. And finally, uh, UTEP takes its first lead on this one. Yeah, their first series of the second half, we come with the free safety blitz, David Guthrie on the weak side. And they run a toss sweep away from it. It should have been about a five-yard gain, but you could see the kind of speed their tailbacks had. I, I was very impressed with both their tailbacks and their big offensive line and tight ends. That was a big physical football team. All right, so the Lobos are down finally for the first time in the game. They score to get even, and then Clayton Mitchum does his thing one more time in the read option to give the Lobos the lead at 35-28. You know, watch our cruiser, uh, Reese White, right here. Excellent job logging uh, the outside linebacker. Now Clayton Mitchum high and tight with that football going in with going to the end zone. But I thought our tight ends, particularly Reese White, had an excellent football game. Our offensive line was excellent all night long. And I really do want to compliment our fans. You know, that, that was a that was a hostile environment down there, but yet we were represented well. I mean, there was a lot of pride with the Lobo fans. That played a big role for us. I mean, we, I certainly appreciate those people that all went down to watch that game. Uh, and it was a lot more fun driving back up that four-hour drive after that fourth down stop for all of us. Yeah, we'll get to the fourth down stop in just a second. Uh, the Lobos, though, uh, you know what? I'll tell you, they took a lead in the first overtime. Casey Carrier kept up a great night with his fourth touchdown run. Unbelievable. You know, third down and six. We run our 30 rock again out of the gun, not the pistol. You can see how much faster that ball hits the line of scrimmage uh, with less depth by the tailback. But I mean, that is a third and six run right there. You're thinking potential field goal. Instead, we get the touchdown to go up seven points in overtime. Just huge. Now, second possession of overtime, the first one for UTEP. This is the play of the game. It's a fourth down and one, and the Lobos somehow pull off the stop. I'll tell you what, you know, it's, it's an all gap defense. We kept regular people in there. We actually put this defense in last week, just a way to combat these type of situations. Uh, Rashad Rainey, great penetration. Uh, David Orvik over the top, the single linebacker in there. Got him down just short of the tight end. But it all comes down to this. You know, the measurement, and then not only the measurement, but the coach is challenged by Sean Kugler to, to reestablish where the spot was from the press box with the replay. How agonizing was it right here as you're waiting for the change to come out? And you can see the yellow line on the monitor, just how close it was. Yeah, it's a pretty thick yellow line now that I look at it. I don't think that line should be that thick. But yeah, you know, it all comes down to this. And, uh, you know, I told Sean Kugler after the game, you know, as happy as I was for our win, trust me, I was happy. I felt bad for him. I, I realize how close this thing is. Uh, but not only this, he does the right thing now and does the coach's challenge. So it goes to the replay booth, uh, which it is uh, Conference USA replay. We had Mountain West Conference officials, the Conference USA replay. But great news, we walk it out of there with the win. And uh, we got over the hump. You know, we've played so many close games here. Real, every game since I've been here with the accession of Texas, Texas Tech, and UNLV have been these kind of games. We were able to win the game, get a stop, and now we're one and one. 
You know, your team competes so hard. And Bob, I just hope the fan base is able to connect to that because at the end of the day, regardless W or L, it is such a fun team to watch. Yeah, we're building the program. I mean, we are who we are. I mean, there is very little margin for error. Uh, we've played two football teams two weeks in a row that quite honestly, if we played either one of them 10 times, it would probably be five and five. You know, UTSA, I go back to last week, that's behind us, but they put on 510 yards on Oklahoma State. We are what we are, but we're a young building program. I think we're fun to watch.